fast, 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 gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. All right, when it comes to streaming, some people don't wanna fuss around with all sorts of stuff and obviously you got multiple platforms to stream to. Well, and then you gotta ask yourself, uh, do I wanna stream to uh, Twitch? Do I wanna stream to YouTube? or even Facebook, or Periscope even, just all these other services, uh, Mixer even. Well, guess what? Restream takes the guesswork out of it. It's super simple, and I'm gonna show you how to get that set up. They'll get you up and running as fast as possible. Let's get to it. So here we are at the desktop, have OBS open, and uh, so first thing you want to do is go to the Restream website. Uh, sign up is super quick. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with this account that I have. Create a password. Boom. Processed. You get a verification email, but you're already ready to go. So once you get to this step, you see where it says add channel. Well, add channel is boom right here all your different channels all the different channels isn't that awesome so we're going to start with twitch go to twitch connect twitch when you connect twitch it'll it will ask you to associate your already logged in account if you don't it'll ask you to log into your twitch account not a big deal just log in or just click authorize boom done it's going to redirect you back to twitch so you can add more channels and in this case, let's say YouTube, YouTube stream now. That's what we're going to go with YouTube stream now and connect YouTube stream now. Check that out. So then you go to this page, you sign in with your YouTube account. I'm just going to back up from here because I don't want to associate one at the moment. But once you have all your accounts uh, set up just the same exact way, it's basically the same process for all of them. They'll appear, appear here inside of channels. And what's really awesome is from here as well, from the Restream website, you can go over to Titles and create your title. Boom. And if you hit Update All, it will change the titles across all your platforms. Now you can go into each one individually, enter a game and tweak them individually. Great. Or you can just use that and call it done. You have social alerts here available as well. You also have a monitor to monitor your stream strength right here gives you all the information on your stream. You got some analytics. You can also use their chat widget, but for the sake of getting up and running quickly, we can revisit this another time. Let's get you guys up and running. Uh, one more thing about the social alerts real quick is you can connect your Twitter, your Facebook, and enter your message here to send out to those services. And that's a really nice feature. So we're back on the main dashboard. As you can see here on the right, you have RTMP stuff, information, stream key, blah, blah, blah. You can go ahead and pick your region or you can let it auto detect, you auto detect your region. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick US West San Jose. They don't have anything in Southern California, but that's fine. And you have your stream key here, copy it. Well, not generate new stream key, but whatever the case is, click it, copy it, go over to your OBS. And for you guys to be able to see me now, uh, you want, I'm going to go ahead and add a video capture device. So if you already have a webcam, go ahead and add it. It will look a lot like that. Hey everyone. <laughs> and, uh, I have my little overlay for that already drawn up. So you also want to add your screen and I'm just going to do a quick little display capture, display capture, capture the main display boom and uh, get that in the proper order hey check that out right awesome so uh as you can see here go over to settings and then stream you're going to select the restream.io service there and then you're going to paste your stream key into the box that's all you got to do i mean you're also going to select your server here again i'm picking us west san jose pick whichever one is correct for your region put your stream key in Go over to your output settings, configure them according to your service. A good rule of thumb would be 720p 60fps or 720p 30fps and you can set your resolution in this section here. Base canvas resolution is your monitor. Output scaled resolution is what you're sending out to Twitch or any of your services. And the common FPS value is the FPS of that stream. But in output, you can tune the bitrate. I have my OBS under the advanced output mode. You want to use a CBR. You want to use a bitrate appropriate for your upload, but anywhere between 2,500 
to 6,000 will look great at 720p 30. And you wanna be, I'd say above 4,000 4, or higher for 720p 60. Keyframe interval two, CPU usage, very fast is a standard rule of thumb, so start there. If you notice that you have no performance degradation in your games, you can drop it to a slower preset to make your streams look visually better. And that's it. So I'm pressing okay. You can hit start streaming at this moment and every connected service that is switched on here will get that stream. But you can also individually turn them, turn them off. So if I had more services listed here, you just click it over to off. You can leave an individual one turned on and it's really nice that you have manual control of each individual output or like I said, flip them all on, your stream will go out to every service that's connected there. Guys, this is Chris with Coalition Gaming. Hope you like this quick little rundown of Restream and getting it imported and set up in OBS. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Click that like button. If you like this video, click that subscribe button if you want to see more. We always got more coming. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye.